God, I hate wires. You know, wired controllers, wired headsets, and all that stuff. What's up, guys? It's me, your bad ass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walk through the 2022, maybe 2023 edition. I don't know how fast we'll finish this off, but yeah. You guys probably already heard me rant about wires. Yeah, do you guys hate anything wired? Yeah, I really do. Anywho, in our last episode, we, uh, yeah, we went to the gym. Kicked a guile from Street Fighter's butt with some, uh, old Pokemon and some new Pokemon. And now it is time for us to go into the next, uh, adventure right here, and that is going straight to Saffron City. Now, if you guys caught my episode from last, well, my last episode, yes, I did use three... Two? No, I used two of my uh, my old Pokemon from Pokemon Yellow, and the whole trend is going to continue right here in Pokemon, uh, or in this episode, where we're going to be switching up some of our Pokemon going into this next gym, because, well, if you guys don't know, yeah, we're going to be facing Sabrina, the girlfriend, who knows everything, and I can't hide anything from her, because she'll be right, she'll be my mind and all that crud. Yeah, we don't want that. Anywho. Here we are taking on, uh, well, the fanboy and all that stuff, kicking some butt, taking some names, and there you go. Serpentera takes it all. Okay. Now, while we're doing this uh, whole adventure right here, the regular team will be spotted. They will be doing their thing while everybody else is getting some training. We're trying to get these Pokemon uh, leveled up uh, to level 55. Now, I do have a strategy. To level up most of my Pokemon, it's going to require a lot of speed buttoning and the Pokemon League. And this might be done right towards the end of our adventure right here of Kanto, because, well, some of you guys have been questioning, Hey, how do you level up for the battle against Red? Well, I'm going to show you guys. Well, kind of. I don't know, maybe. It's going to take us, like, about 10, 10, 10 tries to the Pokemon League. I don't know. So, there we go, we have defeated uh, Teddy Ursa, and yes, he is not the cutest one of all, yes. Okay, so let's move on right here, and uh, this this area right here gives me the, you know, kind of gives me a little bit of a PTSD because, well, you know, the bug type trainers, all them Pokemon trainers that, you know, evolved their Pokemon and all that crud, and well, this guy's like, the road is closed until the problem at the power plant is solved. Huh, you don't say. Okay, so let's see. I think there was a hidden item right around here somewhere. Could be wrong. I'm pressing the button, pressing the button, pressing the button, pressing the button, and I'm jumping off. And, well, let's see. Yeah, there's nothing right there. How about the other side right here? I do like me some uh, secret items right here. So let's see, come on, where are you? And no, there's no secret item. Okay, so here we are. Going into Saffron, and welcome to Saffron City, home of the Magnet Train. That's what I would normally say, but the Magnet Train isn't running right now. It's getting any, it's not getting any electricity because there's something wrong with the power plant. Something is afoot. There is a big foot afoot. So here we are in Saffron City, and uh, before I do anything, guys, I'm getting a little bit of a phone call yet again. Probably should put that on silent. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, and, uh, well... Phone call was pretty interesting. Anywho, guys, let's go right ahead and uh, let's go right ahead and pick out some Pokemon for this next uh, gym challenge. And let's see. So we're gonna be going up against the psychic type gym leader, Sabrina. Yeah, I think that should say it all. Especially since psychic type Pokemon are pretty weak against dark types and uh, any kind of physicality and all that stuff. So we're gonna leave Chico here with us, or not Chico, but Togepi. And, uh, you know what? Hera earned a, a spot again. Let's go ahead and put, uh, Kingdra back into the, into the, uh, into the PC. And you know what? Well, let's go ahead and put Ampharos in there, just in case. I think it's time to start using Leo right here. I know, I know we're gonna have an, a, a, a slow bro somewhere. Ultra Psycho's right here. And then we got Smoke. And, yeah, definitely not gonna use Smoke for right now. Um, you know what? Godzilla, Godzilla seems like another Pokemon I would want to use. And Ultra Psycho right here. Let me see. Let me see the stats right here. Now, a move that I would actually teach Ultra Psycho would have to be Shadow Ball. But since I don't have it right here and I probably use it up in the other location, I might not be able to use it right now. Maybe for the next gym battle. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Who else wants a piece of, uh, of, of these Pokemon? You know what? Sir Razor is definitely not going in there because, well, you know, for the obvious reasons. Let's go ahead and put Golem in here. And, uh, yeah, we already have our spots taken right here, so... Like I say... You know what? Let's go ahead and go with the two Pokemon I've, I've picked out, okay? So let's go right ahead and continue our adventure. So, here we are in Saffron City, and just like always, if you go down to Mr. Psychic's house right here, if I can click it, yes, you will be able to find yourself Mr. Psychic, and of course, Mr. Psychic will have a little gift for you, and he's like, I got it. You wanted this. We got ourselves the TM29 Psychic. Yes, it's a very powerful move. It may lower the target's special defenses. Now, I wonder if this attack can actually work with, uh, with a good old buddy of ours. Let's see. There we go. Psychic attack. And who should we teach it to? Yes, Togepi can actually learn it. Okay, so... That might come down, uh, I might be using that later down the line. So, let's move on right here. So, it has been three years since, you know, the events of, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, of, of this whole situation of Pokemon Yellow. There's a place called the Trainer House in Viridian where trainers gather from all over the place. That is true. Where you can actually battle day by day and all that crud. And if you guys remember, yes, this is the Silphco. There is just one little thing, one big old beef that I have with this is that everything got locked out. So, welcome to the Silphco, the head office and building. And, uh, well, yeah. You can't do anything right here. Only employees are permitted to go upstairs. But since you came such a long way, you can have this neat little souvenir. We got ourselves an upgrade, which can be used to trade for a Porygon 2. It's Silco's latest product. It's not for sale anywhere yet. Hmm. I wonder I wonder for which Pokemon we can actually use that for. Alrighty, so moving on forward right here, let's see. This Silco is famous for Pokemon merchandise. In the past, Team Rocket wanted the company because of that. Yes, in the past, three years ago. Okay, so let's see, what else is uh, cool around this area? Yes, there has been uh, a few changes. There is a uh, magnet train, and this right here. Let's see, talk to this guy. My daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname Copycat around here. Hmm, I wonder who that is. And my daughter is a self-centered, or is so self-centered, she only has a few friends. Hmm. Okay, so let's see about this copycatter right here. And if you talk to her, she's gonna be like, copying? And she's like, hi! Do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. <laughs> You're strange! Hmm, quit mimicking, mimicking me! But that's my favorite hobby! Hmm, okay, so that is something, but afterwards, let's see, I think if you defeat, um, yeah, after you defeat Sabrina, there is gonna be a little something going on around here where you will earn something special from her. And if you guys don't know, yes, this is the home to the Magnet Train, the other side of what reaches Goldenrod and all that crud. So, yeah, it would be an easy, easy way to get to, uh, well, get to the, get to the Johto region right here. And, and, and let's see, our, yeah, our city is featured on the radio program. It's nice to hear praise for your city, but it's a bit embarrassing too. Hmm. Okay, all right. Now, if you guys remember, there are two gyms, one being the Fighting Dojo, and, uh, oh, everybody's welcome right here. Holy crud, okay. And uh, there's this guy. He's like, hello! Karate King, the Fighting Dojo's master, is in the cave, in a cave in Johto for, for some training. And yes, we have seen him before. He's the individual that gave us the Tyrogue. Grab this. We found ourselves a focus band, a very, very important item that you probably should put on your Pokemon for competitive play. So let's go right ahead and see what we got right here. Focus ban. May prevent fainting. If you guys remember in Generations 3 and on, there's an ability called Sturdy. The focus ban is basically that. It, you hold it onto a Pokemon right there, which I'm going to give to Aaliyah. And if it's a one-hit KO, bam. That focus ban holds on for just a little bit longer. So, let's go right ahead and start battling some people. Yo, champion of making. A trainer, a trainer as skilled as you doesn't need to be told to deal with psychic type Pokemon, right? I expect great things from you. Good luck. Alrighty, okay, so some praise. 
Let's get it on. The power of all those you defeated comes to me. Okay, so that could be good, that could be bad. I don't know. Here we have medium Rebecca. She will be coming out with her drowsy. All right, bring it on. Let's go take a pretty time to, uh, time to uh, destroy this person. Shadow Ball, there it is. Shadow Ball does it, alrighty. Okay, drowsy. You, you, you could have done better, but no. And Serpentera, mooching off the thing. And, well, let's see, here she comes out with a Hypno, so let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Hera right here. So one thing that I really loved going into Generation 2 as a kid was the inclusion of both Steel and Dark type Pokemon. There was just one, one little issue, and that was that, yeah, not a lot of Steel type Pokemon. That's why they had to include some of the Kanto Pokemon. And, well, there we go, Hypno defeated. I feel good about myself. There we go. Not a lot of uh, inclusion. It's kind of like the dragon and in, in, in ghost type Pokemon. And speaking of ghost types, seriously? Only one ghost type Pokemon? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so here's round number two. The fighting dojo next door was once the city's gym. Ooh, okay. Bring it. Speaking of uh, once, it's it, 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 it's Jim. Hear me out, okay? Hear me out. I know some of you guys are gonna be answering this whole thing right here, but if you guys remember uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, that game it happened to be, I guess, it, it, like from what I get, it's a game about the past of of Sinnoh. You know, the past Sinnoh you know, or whatever it's called, the Hisui, the Hisui region. That was, uh, what, what was that, before, you know, Sinnoh and all that stuff? I wonder what would happen if Nintendo, or the creators of Pokemon, would, were to come out with, like, you know, a game about Legends Mew. Let's just say that, okay? You can take my idea, I don't know. Probably gonna need a kickback on this, but Legends Mew, and we're going back into the past of, you know, Kanto. Not so far away, but we're talking about, like, uh... Talking about like a few thousand years, maybe a hundred years or so, where you know this place used to be, you know, invaded by uh, fighting type Pokemon trainers, and then I don't know something about that legends are like like legends of Arceus and all that stuff. I would like to see that, you know, something in the past for Kanto. I'm not saying another remake, but something that somewhere along the lines where you can actually see some like different types of Pokemon, the legend of uh, Kanto, how it came to be. Hell, going into Johto. That way we can see the events of, uh, let's see. Oh, he's learning Crunch. Serpentura, okay. Uh, that way we can see the legend of what happened with the legendary Pokemon and legendary dogs. And, oh, Crunch attack would be good, but I do not want to get rid of Screech or anything else. So we're going to just not learn that. Crop baskets, okay. And there we go. Yeah, I would love to see that, especially, you know, Pokemon, like, every single game that we play, like, we played in and all that stuff, it, it would be nice to see some kind of, like, some kind of, like, a uh, game talking about its past of certain events and all that stuff. I'm only assuming that in the Hoenn region, it would be about Mega Evolution, how it came to be, in Johto, what happened to the Burnt Tower, Legend of the Burnt Tower or something like that. And then, you know, Kanto. I don't know what, what happened in the past for Kanto, but it would be something around the lines of like, oh, well, you know, just, uh, you know, uh, a few years ago, probably, I don't know, in the past, Western, I don't even know, guys. I'm talking out of my butt right now. And look at that, Slowpoke. Defeated. Okay, alrighty. And Serpentera. Getting some more points. And Doris wants to come out with a Slowbro, so I think you guys know what time it is. It's time for Aaliyah. Alright, slow bro. You don't like me. And I don't like you. Because you're slow. And that shell thing is like... Scaring me, but here's Aaliyah for the first time. And we're gonna be using a thunder attack. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Aaliyah. Flexing her little muscles right there. Slow bro, you have been defeated. And we get some points for Aaliyah right there. Look at that. Okay. And then medium doors. And she's like, thought I read you. I still lost. You did. 
He lost badly. Okay, so let's see. I think we have one more trainer before Sabrina. I kind of want to get to that trainer before we get to Sabrina. And we all know how much I love this, this puzzle. I think we've already battled you. Let's go right here and look at that. We found this guy. Psychic power is your power of your soul, or the power of your soul. Hmm, the power of your soul. Okay, so here we go. Take it on Psychic Franklin. Coming out with Kadabra. Oh, yes. Kadabra. One of the most uh, broken Pokemon in the first generation. Thankfully, not right here. And here comes a Psych, or a, a whatchamacallit, a Future Psych. So that right there, I need to... I need to finish this Pokemon off. I need to finish these guys off before, you know, we get hit with that, uh, that, what was it, Future Sight. And, yes, look at that. Your soul has more power than mine. Yes, I do. My soul is mighty. Okay. Time to get to, time to get to the girlfriend, because she's been expecting us for quite some time. And, yes, I am going, like, on every single little box right here just to find her. Really have no time to look at a map right here, and let's see, right here, already been right here, go right here, already been there, so let's go right here, and here, going back here, somewhere around here somewhere, oh my god, look at that butt, okay, so it looks like we're a little lost guys, just a little bit, ah, there we are, well hello there, it's been three years, but hello there. Okay, so before we battle, before we battle Sabrina, the three Pokemon I would like to use, Togepi, Hera, and quite possibly, quite possibly Godzilla, just in case. Mainly because, well, you know, physical, physicality and all that stuff. So let's talk to our girlfriend. I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a gym leader to confer badges on anyone who has proven him or herself worthy. Since you wish, uh, since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. Okay, bring it on. I love this song, I really do. So here it is, guys. Gym battle number ten against our girlfriend Sabrina, and she's looking feisty as ever. And well, she is going to be coming out with an Espeon right here, and. You know, it kind of breaks my heart just looking at Espeon right now because, well, shoot, I had an Espeon in my very first uh, Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Kind of wanted to use it right here, but kind of thought against it. And, well, here is a Shadow Ball, and it does pretty good. Let's go again. And here comes a Psychic Attack. Holy bejeebus. That right there is going to hit us pretty hard. And it does. So here comes a Shadow Ball. And that finishes off Espeon. Okay, so we're going to be competitive right here. Getting some experience points. Alright, bring it on. Coming out with Mr. Mime, let's go right ahead and use Hera. Alrighty, the Hera the Hell Dog right here. Alright, Mr. Mime. Okay, so here's another funny question. Okay, if Mr. Mime were to turn out to be a female, would it be called Miss Mime or Mrs. Mime? Comment down below, guys. I know, I have the dumbest questions. And here comes a faint attack. And just like that. Look at this. Look at this. That's right. Mr. Mime has been defeated. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then we're getting more points for Serpentera. All right. She's coming out with an Alakazam. I think it's only appropriate for Serpentera to actually, you know, earn it right here. Look at this. Serpentera versus Alakazami. Alrighty, time to earn that level 50, Serpentera. Bring it. Let's go with a Screech attack. Because I know, yeah, that's the that's the first thing I knew you were going to do right here, and it didn't work. Holy crud. Okay, try it again, and here comes that screw oh, Psychic attack, and oh my god. Uh, okay, so, not so effective. Alright, two levels down. Alright, Alakazam, time to feel the steel right here before we feel the, the psychic attack and all that crud. You see, this is the reason why we need the quick lock. Holy crap, baskets. Okay, not so effective. Iron Tail for the win. And just like that, Alakazam has been defeated. Oh yeah. 
Okay, alrighty, Serpentera, you you a tank, you a tank, alrighty. Your power. It far exceeds what I first saw. Maybe it isn't possible to fully predict what the future holds. Okay, you win. You earned yourself the Marsh Badge. Yes, that's right, throwing out that peace sign, guys. Throwing out that peace sign. That's right. Ash Ketchum. <laughs> Marsh Badge draws out your subliminal powers, meaning your special powers or your special attack or something like that. Although I failed to accurately pr predict your power, this much I know to be true. You will become a celebrated and believe a beloved champion. Oh, your love for your Pokemon overwhelmed my psychic power. The power of love, I think, is also a kind of psychic power. Probably. I wonder if we're actually going to have, like, any new typings, like, maybe, uh... I don't know, it's kind, of, it's kind of stupid to say, but a love Pokemon or something like that, I don't even know. Okay, alrighty, so we defeated it, defeated her, and he's like, that was another fantastic battle! Yes, yes it was. Okay, so that is ten badges in all. And, well, I've already planned out the roadmap to the next area. We're going to be winning badges first, guys, before we take care of some important stuff. We do have the ability to go to one of three places. And uh, let's see, we got Celadon City for our, what was it called, our, our 11th badge. We can go to C or C or Cerulean City to solve the mystery of the power plant. And, or we can go to Lavender Town, which would be a segue into Cerulean City, you know, later on in our adventure. I kind of figured, I kind of figured that, you know what, let's go to C Celadon City and make our way, or make our long way up there. It'll be much funner and all that stuff. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient and all that stuff. This has been another episode right here. And, uh, well, if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, seriously, Wilton. You talk now, fishing, nothing's biting today. Help me with the time always for a battle. Yeah, I'm not going to battle you. Anywho, if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, yes. Links down there in the description. I don't think it works, but maybe go with uh, the, the heart button right there. And everything will be taken care, of, uh, taking care of itself. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.